Let's get started by creating the director structure that you're going to use um, with the Xilinx SDK for the rest of the semester. Start out with an empty directory. I've created one just called student test area. Um, you'll want to create a similar directory um, probably on a flash drive. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and create um, a directory that's going to contain our software for the semester. Let's just call that My330. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, download the software that you're going to be using for this course. You can get to that from this page here. Click on that. You'll see there are two links of interest. One is the student software, one is the IP repository. We're going to go ahead and download both of those. So click on the link, it'll give you the option to save. And just save it um, next to this in the same directory that contains this My330. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it downloaded. Okay. And let's do the same for the IP repository. Save that as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit save. We'll close that and now we can get rid of Internet Explorer and here we can see we have the directory created and a couple of archives. These are uh, zip or compressed folders so you need to extract them. So right click, hit extract all and then just go ahead and extract. This first one takes um, not half a minute so let's go ahead and let it finish. Okay, and let's also do the same for the IP repository, extract all, okay. So now if we look at our setup, we have this empty directory created to hold our files, and we have the extracted IP repository and the uh, software for the class. And at this point, you've completely uh, set up the directories. In a follow-up video, we'll show you how to get all of this imported and set up inside of the SDK.